So last episode, we were working on the head like this. We were porting it, so we got it all finished up. And you can see here, now it's all, all it's needed is like a valve job and resurfacing. Here, we even worked on the chamber. You can see the short turn is really good, right? Now we port match the ITB, the, the total versions, and now here, and we talked about the exhaust, the 421 header that he has. We mocked it up. Look at that. It looks really, really good, right? Oh yeah, this is gonna be a fun project. And of course we check the ITB rudder length so we can correlate with the port length, see the harmonics. And so let's check how we can make more power. finished up well actually just the port so we just need to have it machined like resurface the deck and of course the our valve job our three angle or multi-angle valve job done after so then it's going to be ready to assemble but you can see here we got the texture all finished up and this is all 80 grit and of course with the proper lubricant that we use the ethyl alcohol and soapy water mix and here you can look closer if you look right behind the valve guide before the valve seat it's a lot smoother than usual right that's because we actually used 120 grit on the last part right be right after the valve guide as you can see here in this photo all the way to before the valve seat we don't usually do that but you know in times like this it's okay we, we were trying to get the texture that we wanted and plus because it runs id 1000 injectors we don't need to worry about atomization the spray is excellent here's the exhaust side it's all done good yes sir yes sir this one we got to f f smooth it out and finish it with 180 grit all the way even on the near the bowl because it was getting the shade that we needed so that was good for us in here yeah so let's look a little closer with better lighting there you go yes and this is how you can see the k series heads perform or flow a lot better than you than, than let's say the b series counterparts look at the ports they're perfectly round so naturally the best flow is usually on a round shape versus like you know all the weird shapes so this is easy to improve on the flow and it's gonna be really really efficient look at that you can see the 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 glaring on the light it shows the you know ideal contours right and also here let me say this for my guys in the u.s of course we'd love to port the heads for you guys you can just send it over here in the philippines but of course there are times that dhl or the shipping companies would tend to cost too much for that but hey if you guys want to send it to us we won't mind but of course in New Jersey, Head Games Motor Works has been around since like, I remember back in my college days at around 2003, 2004, I would frequent hondatech.com, the forum, and Dave, the owner, was already active there. So if you, if you think about it, if they've been around since that time, they've been, they've been doing something right, right? I mean, you know, we see all the recent guys will talk all about hype and whatnot, but hey, these guys have been around longer. And of course, look at this. A few months ago, they posted this video. And if you look at it, look at the title. It's a head that they did for Speed Academy. So, you know, when you think about it, if Speed Academy thinks head games is the, the right way to go with, hey, that's also for you guys, right? So that's pretty cool. And also here's their Instagram. As you can see, even my friend Josh, who runs Motor Carp Solutions in, in Melbourne, Australia, follows them. Check them out, all right? I mean, hey, we would still love to receive the heads from you guys and we can do the work. But of course, we understand about shipping costs. So this is a definite, definitely winning option, right? So let me break away for a moment. If you like this video, you gotta subscribe. This way you can keep track of this build that we're doing and also the future stuff that we do so you guys can enjoy all the content that we do and of course hit the like button as that helps the algorithm to spread the video to a wider audience this way we get a bigger audience here right so let's go and now you see here we worked in the chamber and that will be on the members only section although exclusively where we did the chamber work but you can see here on the intake the short turn 
that's where you can you can make or break the head meaning you can gain or lose substantial flow here even dave agrees on that and now you see the head is all done here already for the high performance valve job that we're going to do and of course sur surfacing or decking the deck to make it flat but we mock it up here first and look and see the difference of the clean head after porting or the block versus the block i mean we mocked it up so that we can install this header we took it out from the car it's a four two one header we haven't really measured it properly or completely but hey we mocked up even the idb because you know hey it just looks cool on the engine stand right oh yeah all right we haven't really measured this except we know the collector side towards the pipe or the exhaust pipe is 2.5 inches so the, the rest of the exhaust is 2.5 so oh yeah it looks really good like this right so we're gonna get the measurements up and of course you know figure out what to do what what we can improve so to let you guys know so you know we will we'll let you guys know on that here you can see even the merge collector is pretty good so it's pretty decent no wonder this works quite decent right and of course we're not you know this is going to be quite limited i'm pretty sure because you know we're not the kind of place or shop that would tell the customer like oh no you need to change this you need to change that of course we also try to make what exists work for them just you know to make their cost efficiency you know be a little proper you know and that's the local customers get surprised with us because we don't really promote overspending I mean, this header is locally fabricated, so it's not anything special, but it works. And of course, my main priority or my top priority is actually having new piston rings for this phased out y cycle pistons. This way we can hone the block and get ready to make more power, of course. But my ultimate preference is to actually to get to upgrade to 12.5 is to one compression or even 13 is to one compression pistons this way we can be sure we're gonna make even more power okay now let's go back to the workbench and we brought the head there this way we can mock it up and it's time to port match the itb onto the head so at this point we actually put three bond on the steel gasket towards the flange of the ITB. This way, when we pull it, it sticks to the flange and we can mark it up like here. You can see, we can mark it up now to see where it needs a bit more matching or, you know, where it's offset and, you know, it needs a bit of work. So now we see it, right? And luckily, when we check this versus the head, it was actually quite close or really, really close to the same as the head. So it was all the ITB that we had to part match. As you can see here, there's different angles. And, and the thing is, all four ports are not equal. Some are slanted to the side or slanted to the, towards the center. Some are lower, so it needed some work or some finishing touches. This way, everything or every runner could really flow quite the same. So you can look closer here, you can see. This one is quite okay, so I'm quite centered. But on this one, look. It's all skewed to the left and lower, right? The, the right side is not that far off, but the left is huge. So this needs a bit of work. So that's why we need to, you know, cross plane the template. And now here we actually hit it with the carbide to be quicker. So now we're on to eating grid, smoothing it and finishing it up. The aluminum, the, the aluminum used to cast this is quite good because it's easy. It's so easy to get it all smooth with just 80 grit. So this is all going to be good here on the other side, just to be sure. Yeah, I had to get a different vise because the old vise was not turning. It broke. So, hey, we need the one that makes it easier for us to work. Let's look at it closer now. Oh, yeah. It looks look, looking really, really good now, right? Okay, now time to clean this up with water and solvent this way you can go back to the clean working bench and here it is oh yeah and this is all 80 grit we just you know managed to use certain pre applied pressure when you pour it and here it is look at that that's so consistent and clean but of course because the aluminum used on this is probably really clean and good but you can see here they, there's indentations there we didn't totally clean that up because it'll lose alignment right here it is vertically oh yeah it looks really good now let's check it closer 
here. Look at that consistent porch finish. So this is gonna be improving quite significantly. You know, this is gonna be a fun motor when it's done and when it's finished. So here, let me show you from the entry side. We actually stopped right before the butterfly. This way we don't, you know, ruin how it seals well, as you can see there. Now it's all smooth and all good, right? No more casting flash or rough casting. Wait, let me just switch hands, sorry. Let me show you here on this, the last, the last one. There, oh, oh, sorry for the shaking. Sorry, I was trying to focus it. All right. Now, here's for the interesting part. We, we took some measurements here, so let's go. Here it is. The total runner length of the ITB from the flange to the stack opening is 7.5 inches. So that's interesting, right? But of course, the intake ports on the head itself is 3.7 inches or 93 something millimeters. So when you calculate it, it's 11.2 inches total runner length, right? So when you check on the harmonics here, you can see the third harmonic is good from like 7, 8, all the way to 9,000 RPM. You know, we would like it to hit on the second harmonic, but hey, if this was a race car, we would go for that. We would increase the length of the ITB. But if it's 7, 8 to 9,000, this is pretty decent and pretty good. This way, now we can figure out or what else that's needed, like on the header and everything else. Of course, some people would say, no, you know, so whatever you do here, it always ends up picking the same power. That's because it's on the tune every, and everything else. I'm not saying it doesn't work. I'm just saying it's a good reference point for even other mods. And of course, if you guys are wondering if we didn't go enough with the details on the porting the head, we have this video here of the PRB head we did last year. This is for the guys in Australia, some track guys from Melbourne and Sydney. And of course, also this one, the K24 head, right? This is so cool. And even about nine months ago, we did this interesting video. It's a PRB type R head that we did show the pocket ported head version and then the fully ported version. So that's going to be cool to check out. All of these videos will be in the description below. So don't worry about that. All right. Okay. And as you guys notice, the way we usually put the, uh, the next episode on the end screen after the end of the each video, right? But because it's not, it's not yet done, we're going to have a playlist of all the key series builds that we did and of course you can click that just right here